And welcome to this week's Illinois Wesleyan Titan Coaches Show. I'm Eric Stock, joined by the head football coach at Illinois Wesleyan, Norm Ash. Coach, good to have you back. Good to see you, Eric. Coming off a win at Augustana on Saturday, a game that maybe had some had a bit of a rough start after an opening drive by Augie. They went the distance on a touchdown, and you kind of shut them down after that. Well, you know, we always talk about getting out to a fast start, and uh, exactly the opposite happened. And actually, Augustana scored a, the first rushing touchdown against our defense all year, and they went on a fairly long drive, and and we were, we were getting used to their quarterback a little bit. Uh, they were running what we call a zone read, and the quarterback was keeping it. But uh, after that first drive, and they got the six, uh, seven points, uh, they made some great adjustments and basically shut them down the rest of the day. And we came right back offensively, went on our own 14-play drive to tie it up. And I felt at that time we had the game under control, and it was a matter of you know, just uh, executing and playing well, and that's what we did that first half and ended up 21-7. I think it was the first time that uh, you'd seen that offense all year, at least to the extent that they were running it. Well, they see a little bit in practice because we run the zone read also, but we have been running uh, our quarterback as much as they ran theirs. So it was good for them to see it, and I'm, sh I'm sure we're going to see it down the road. And, and uh, I like the way that our kids uh, go about uh, correcting things during the game, and that's the makings of a good football team. You saw the running game uh, really loom large again. Uh, Alexander had another terrific uh, Morgan Alexander had another great running day, well over 100 yards rushing, scored a couple of touchdowns. You guys were able to to maintain that uh, ground game as the game went on. Yeah, I mean, it all starts up front. We have that uh, experienced offensive line with all the, all the uh, positions coming back as starters. And, you know, we have four seniors out there that's playing, which really helps. So it starts up front, but Morgan does a great – he's doing a great job. Um, you know, I, I would say that Morgan's having a breakout year. You know, last year he waited his, his turn. Um, we had Maurice Shoemaker Gilmore and Austin Harold, two seniors, and he was, you know, waiting in the in the in the background. And and this year he's emerged as the leading rusher in the conference and is having a great year. But I think he he will tell you it's it's the guys up front, and we do do a good job and, and we make good adjustments and and the experience makes a difference because teams are going to start um, moving moving on us a little bit more and bringing more pressure. I mean that's going to be the way to stop us in their eyes, I think we'll be able to handle that because of our experience. What it seems like the most successful seasons you have had, it has been when you've had a dominant ground game like this season. Well, all coaches will tell you, you know, in order to have a great uh, passing game, you have to have, have to have a running game. I, I would like to see our passing game emerge a little bit more. I think a lot of that has to be from our mistakes we're making. We're getting some plays called back. You know, it's a holding call here, holding call there, maybe a motion, maybe a misalignment. And those are things that, are, that I'm concerned about a little bit. You know, we're going into seventh week, and those things should not be happening. So, you know, we're talking about those things to our kids. Some of that's because all our receivers are young. I mean, they're sophomores. They're, they're still, um, you know, getting experience. But uh, in the seventh week, that, that needs to stop a little bit. Well, and the guy getting the ball is a sophomore, too. That's true, too. And, and Brandon has done a great job. But Brandon's a sophomore, but he had a whole year of, of sure. being behind the center uh, last year. So... It's a matter of us just eliminating our mistakes. We had over or close to 100 yards of penalties against Augustana, Augustana, and that's way too high. And those are things that will stop drives, and, 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 and we give up big plays when those things happen. When it's going to be hard to, obviously you don't want them making penalties, but you don't want them to lose their aggressiveness. Is that what it is, or just simply perhaps mental mistakes? Well, I don't know if it's aggressive. I think maybe it's a lack of focus, you know. Um, or concentration. I, I, we play hard. There's no doubt about it. I'm, uh, on the offense, defense, special teams, uh, that's one of the reasons why we're five and one is because we play very, very hard. Uh, we just have to play focused, you know, and make sure that our hand placement is where it should be, and that we're not uh, making a, a mental mistake as far as alignment and uh, motion and things like that. And and that'll come. But and we need to do that because we have some big games coming up here, and and we want to continue. Uh, with the success we've had and add to that. Um, this week it's homecoming versus Carroll. Um, it's a game that uh, we're looking forward to coming back home after being on the road for two weeks. It's gonna be a great venue. Uh, a lot of people will be there, uh, former players, alumni, and so uh, our kids are excited about playing homecoming. This is Carroll's first visit to Bloomington since they were last in the conference. Back a few years ago when you have fewer gray hairs, 
Um, they got their first conference win earlier this year against Augustana. Have you seen improvement from what you've seen from them compared to last year? Well, they've been in every ball game. Uh, again, um, teams kind of wear them down a little bit. Uh, the, Elmhurst beat them last week, but they had to come from behind to beat them. Uh, they beat Augustana. Augustana lost their quarterback in that game, so that kind of you know slowed Augustana down during the course of the ball game. So. Uh, Carroll is a, t a type of team that's going to come in here. They're going to play very hard. Uh, you can see that on tape. I mean, th their kids never quit. Uh, I think that we there are some things that they are going to allow us to exploit a little bit, which you know that's what we should. Um, I think our defense will be able to um, you know take away what they do best. They have a, a good quarterback and a couple good, real good receivers, and that, then that we're impressed with their running backs. So, you know, we have to get prepared to to play a, a, a game. Uh, like we're capable of playing and, and put it all together. I mean, I'm going to talk to our players about having a breakout game. You know, it's okay if the defense has a great game and the offense is okay, or if the defense is okay and the offense is great. I mean, we got to put it all together, uh, and, and I, I think we're looking for that type of uh, game this week. And we'll look for that then on Saturday. Congratulations on the win against Augustana, and best of luck this weekend. Thank you.